What's up, people? We're back for another weekly challenge episode, and we are here. Episode four of this week. Board seven and eight, a flat 13 count that we have here that we have only one bid with. Let me remind you of the rule, folks. When we're 3-3 three, three in the minors, we open clubs 100% of the time. When we're 4-4 four, four in the minors or better, we open diamonds 100% of the time. This is just so when we open one diamond, we are much more reliably going to have four. And when we open a club, we just treat that as three always. Here we have a nice descriptive two heart bid, which has to be a four card heart race because we had a support double available there, folks. And here we play a nice, safe two hearts. Looks like we have a lot of diamond losers. Even though our left hand opponent has a rough in diamonds, it doesn't matter. We're just going to lose the first three diamond tricks on this hand, unless the queen falls to our left, and then we're going to lose the first two in a rough. There it is. So, so now they're rough. That's great for us. We hope they're roughing with a, the long heart. If they, in fact, have three hearts over there, uh, we just did ourselves an extra piece of work there. So here, there's our ace of spades. We're going to hope that they had three hearts to our left. If they do, we're going to set up a neat play here, I hope. Ah, oh, too bad. Too bad, folks. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to play for a little strip and end play here. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm going to play the ace of clubs. I'm going to play the king of clubs. I'm going to play the king of spades. And then I'm going to exit a heart. Right? I know my east player is going to win this. I'm hoping they have a spade to cash or a club to cash, and then they don't have the other suit. And then I'll make this contract. There it is, folks. There's a slough in a rough. Boom. We needed one of these things to happen. I get to slough that little losing spade. I have to rough this spade in the end, and we've done our job here. Let me show you that on the replay. I'm happy when I get to work this out for you in a live situation. So here it is, folks. We're in two hearts. Bad hands, flat hands all around. Terrible to play with. We need some luck to be successful. So here's what I've done on this hand. After they cash all their diamonds, which I'm happy about, I was wishing they had three hearts to our left because then it's just so easy. We've drawn the actual round of trump. They've roughed with a winner, basically. But we weren't lucky. We also weren't lucky with the spade position. We had to take that. But now... Once I get to draw a couple rounds of trump, the, the hand is known. So here, if I catch them with a winner and no safe exit at some point, what I'm doing, I'm stripping this hand down. I strip the club suit down to its lowest spot. I've also stripped the spade suit to the spot where I just have losers now, and now I have a safe exit of a heart knowing East is going to win. My hope is to either have a good spade honor and just diamonds or a good club honor and just diamonds, and that's what we have bought, folks. We bought the good club honor so they can certainly cash that trick. Fine, that's a loser we knew we had, but now if they're out of black cards or if they just have clubs left also, we are sitting pretty, and here's what happened. There's our slough in a rough. It's what we call like a, a strip and end play, like a partial strip and end play. We weren't able to strip the whole hand, but they had the winners left over there for our business. Nice. We'll take it. One spade pass, one no trump. They play the forcing no trump, folks. I'm going to chill and see what they do. Now they bid two hearts. Wow, let's get let's let them get into trouble. <laughs> this is Three diamonds should be a sign-off, by the way. This should absolutely be a sign-off and appears to be. Um, I mean, they bid spades and hearts to my left. They ended up in a diamond contract? I don't know, man. I almost want to lead diamonds, but I, I think I'm just going to lead the ace of clubs. Uh, uh, ended up being okay. And now I'm going to lead diamonds. Uh, they do have a nice spade suit and dummy, um, that, but I don't think they can set it up an inter-dummy, I guess, unless they – well, no, I might be setting them up right now. If they have six diamonds, they might just have a club rough to get over there. Uh, we'll find out. Take a finesse. There you go. Oh, they had the queen of spades in the declarer's hand. That's kind of ricked. Interesting. Well, drawing Trump might not have been the best idea, folks. <laughs> Maybe we're supposed to cash a heart there. Uh, unfortunate. They they had such a good spade holding queen X over there. Um, the good thing is, if we weren't beating this, this is just an extra imp or two to them. I'm not like devastated by that scenario. Um, however, I just hate to see them pitching winners over there each time. And then they're roughing hearts. Yuck. Uh, Ace of hearts is no good. Are we getting a club or not? Uh, these are the hands. Like, this is where what, counting isn't necessarily going to matter. You're either going to take a trick or not if you just know what they have. Um, let's just, for for speed here, let's just run over and see, is there a lead that beats it or a continuation that beats it after the Ace of clubs? No. Whew. 
<laughs> so so if, if I ended up switching to a heart, it's certainly much better. We gobble up two heart tricks, but really in the end, we get two hearts, a club, and a diamond on our best day. And that's because they just have that rip-roaring source of tricks over there, and diamonds are breaking evenly. So um, could do better. In fact, in a match point situation, I probably need to take a little bit more time and get that heart on the table for a reasonable score. Luckily, this might just be a loss of two imps, and uh, still, I mean, I'm a little upset with myself for not uh, at least cashing these hearts and see what my partner does, right? Because that spade suit is a little bit scary. The one thing that it makes it seem like it's okay, if righty only has one spade, partner has queen four with the spades. So if partner is protecting that suit unknowingly or possibly for you here, uh, we may have seen some extra tricks by that line, but still, easy place to play a heart. Now, ooh, now tomorrow we're starting off with the hands we began the week with. Uh, a little bit of extra shape here for board number nine. Let's see what we do there, folks. I'll see you tomorrow for that one.